Before you hire a contractor to weatherize your home, you'll want to see this story. Yes, a woman contacted two on your side after finding out her supposedly energy efficient windows let buckets of water into her home, and she says she couldn't get the company to fix it. So. Well, she reached out to two on your side and our Christine Lazar. And Christine, this woman isn't alone in her complaints, is she? She is not alone at all. Mm -hmm. There are nine other open complaints against zero energy in Cerritos. And now the contractor's state license board is opening its own investigation into the business and their work. You can see the framing up there is uneven as well. Jamie Vargas contacted two on your side after life in her dream home in La Habra could be described this way. It has been a nightmare. A nightmare that has been playing out since last summer. So she turned to us. How long separate. did that take to happen? It all started with a phone call. On the line, a Cerritos contractor called Zero Energy, promising to weatherize and update her home. They basically said, the windows and the sliders, the sliding doors were inefficient. They said that they could replace them all. Today, it appears those windows and doors are anything but efficient. In fact, she says they let the outside in from rain. And you can see all of the water coming through. It was coming in so fast I couldn't get towels fast enough to dry up all the water that was coming in through the floors. To sun and heat and then some. We have. Um, bees and insects that come through those gaps now through the doors. Vargas says the nearly $18,000 project was plagued with delays and when the work was done, she immediately noticed flaws. One is higher than the other. The framing was off and that's not all. You can also see um, the visible signs of cracking here. Vargas showed us with a garden hose when any water hits the outside of the windows. The water comes pouring in over here and here. This is not what we were expecting. Vargas says she reached out to Zero Energy last summer and demanded they redo the project. And his response was, we can fix these problems with a simple adjustment by the, with, through the manufacturer. Skeptical of the proposed fix, Vargas hired another contractor to come in, and he told her most of the work needed to be redone because of improper installation. According to the new bid, it would cost her nearly $6,000. When Vargas told Zero Energy she wouldn't agree to their offer to simply adjust the windows, she says all communication stopped. It's just disheartening to know that we have not had any resolution, and this has been ongoing um, for over seven months now. Two on your side checked with the contractor's state license board and found that zero energy was cited for false advertising and for doing work without a permit, both in 2015. They also did not apply for permits when they did the work on Vargas's home last summer. She has filed a claim with the board, which is still pending. And after months and months of silence, Zero Energy called Vargas just minutes after Two on Your Side reached out to them, and they offered to enter into arbitration. But Vargas tells us the state has asked her to hold off. They want to send out a third-party contractor to survey the work as part of their own investigation. And the lesson we learned here is you want to reach out to the contractor's state license board. You want to see if they have any violations, but then you also just want to get on your computer, check Yelp, Check those review sites. If you Google Zero Energy, you see lots of one star reviews. Ah, all right. That is so helpful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you've got to be aware. Kind of, no question. So you have to get lots of bids. You can't just go with one person. Right. Okay. All right. Thank you, Christine. Mm -hmm. And can Two on Your Side help you? Just email us at Two on Your Side at CBS.com with your problem or on Twitter. Use the hashtag Two on Your Side and we'll see what we can do to resolve your problem.